All right, guys, this is going to be to, uh, we're at lunch, we're in our little ranger. Yeah. But this is going to be to, you want to talk smack about the coolant filter, about my theory on a coolant filter. I mean, who am I? You know, I only got, you know, a couple hundred, maybe a thousand trucks running around in the fleet that I'm keeping an eye on. You know what? Okay, the casting grit in the sand that gets released from the engine block during heat cycles. You're an idiot. Shut up. Get out of here. You're so freaking stupid. You read that on the internet and you claim it to be true, so now you want to talk about your customers. Will you, you push them on all your customers? Quit being a dumbass, man. Don't come on here talking all this smack. The, the damn block doesn't release casting sand. That's the di biggest damn why. Yeah, the boogeyman's under your freaking bed, too. Get the freaking hell out of here. Do a proper freaking flush and protect the engine. The only way that the, you're going to release casting sand is if you've got cavitation going on because of A, either a coolant leak, or B, you're running some dumbass freaking coolant that ain't right and you're not changing the intervals, right? I mean, you got cavitation going on. That could release crap in there. It's not going to do it if you use the right coolant. And, and proper coolant flush, don't come on here talking about a proper coolant flush. All the people on this channel have seen me do flushes, and the way we do flushes works. It works. So don't tell me about a proper coolant flush. Show me. I'm in Missouri. Don't come on my video talking all this smack because you're going to look like a dumbass. Don't nobody want to hear your freaking... I mean, you know what? You want to be cool? That's fine. Go be cool. Take it to someone else's channel. You know, be, go be cool. Take it on Facebook. Because all the Facebook guys preach, you know, you can't own a six liter without a coolant filter. You can't own one. Motherfucker. I've, owned, I, I've driven more miles in a six liter than you and all your damn friends combined. Add them all up. Bunch them all in together. I've driven more miles than they have all put together. So don't come on here and tell me what you got to have to have a freaking truck run right. Get out of here, you freaking moron. And you know what? You want to comment on this video too? Go ahead, comment. We can start discussing this crap. Because with the things we do, I try all I can to make them beyond reproach. I have tested this theory. I've used this theory. And once again, I just showed it on picture. First time I had ever seen that freaking truck. Got a chalk full of a damn coolant filter. Don't know what coolant's on it. With a bad oil cooler. So you know what? You think that coolant filter is a bypass fill? It's got a 3 8 inch hose. The rat hose is freaking two inches round. You think you're going to catch all the bull crap through a three-eighths inch hose? All it takes is one revolution through the oil cooler, and it catches crap. You're not going to... You're getting this freaking much coolant out of a line this freaking big, and you think you're going to save that oil cooler. Get the hell out of here, man. It only has to go through the oil cooler one time. Crap has to get in that oil cooler one time, and it's stuck there forever. It will not pass through the oil cooler 14 fucking times and allow you to catch it in the coolant filter. Get the freaking hell. You want a coolant filter? Put it on a big freaking line and make it full flow. Like, maybe I'll make one. I am seriously thinking about making a freaking coolant filter and all you dumbasses putting it bypass in the freaking... And seriously, in the damn... Have it coming out of the freaking... The heater core line and going to the vent line. There's apps, I mean, whatever. You know what? Maybe I need to pull the line. I don't know how much flow goes through that. I have no idea. I don't even know. Maybe maybe I need to check that and pull it off the vent hose on the, the degas vent hose and start the truck and let's see how much coolant actually comes out of that line. Doesn't really matter. Who cares? Because it's a minuscule amount. So that's my video. That's me. I'm going to talk smack. You want to come on here and talk about my dumb ass theories? You know what? Take your dumb ass somewhere else. Ain't nobody trying to listen to your dumb ass. So... Have a good day, guys.